Alright guys, I already did something like this before. It was just me scrapping one, but now I'm going to do a how-to. Because I learned a little bit of stuff while I was doing it. So, now I want you to know how to do it first. So, today we're scrapping an old rectangular Belkin router. Now it is frigid cold out here. Look how cold. And it actually was raining. It still is raining, but... Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, we're not perfect time to take apart some electronic device. Uh, so, tools, I mean, they kind of change. I use a hammer with a pointed tip, so I can smash it and break a piece off, so I can furthermore break it with my hands, obviously hands. And then, some pliers, or like, um, I've got a multi-tool, you know, you see I can get out a whole bunch of tools with it and stuff. For this... All you're going to need is one that has pliers. And so, uh, and obviously you're going to need a bowl to put stuff in because you're going to get some cobalt and tantalum and aluminum if you like it. I don't know. I don't really keep aluminum. Take your Belkin router, you know, with these and all. Um, unplug it if it has a cord. If it doesn't, you are good. And I like to... Snap off these antennae first. And you, I think you need to keep those. Let me think again. Take your router, put it with the gray face up, and take your. That should work. Can you see what I did right there? Was do that so I can rip it more. I just hit it a few more times, then I ripped the thing apart. I didn't do that on camera because it was absolutely terrifying. But um, so it should look like this, and you can take off this plastic right there, and if you can get out the motherboard from the plastic. I mean, you don't have to do it like that. Mine isn't working so well, so. We'll skip that. Now, what you're going to need are some pliers. I want to get this copper, so it's copper wire around like steel or something. You're going to take that and just rip that off with your pliers. You can see I'm doing it. And this is difficult, so if you're not up for a challenge, then just sorry, this isn't for you. Um, then, you'll see these wires, um, go ahead and make sure your pliers, or you can use scissors, have those things in the middle that cut wire. So, I'm gonna cut mine, and make sure that black thing is there, and try not to break it, because there's cool stuff inside of that. Okay, so I cut them off. There's one. I need to cut... Other one, or I can just sorry, this is kind of difficult to do on camera. So, okay, so these wires I don't know why, but as you can see, they're magnetic. Magnet wand, dun 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 dun. dun. Okay, um, got that it's from my dad, so I like it. Um, so take off of the wires these two things, and I'll show you what to do those with those further later on in the video. Okay, so now what I like to do, it's hard for me to get off all these other silicon chips, but that one is really easy. I like to take my pliers and put them like there on two parts of the silver wires and just close them and that breaks the silver wires so let me do that and then you can rip it off all right so the chip is off um just put that with your copper wire and those two little things that we will discuss later um then i mean i can't get these out it's really hard for me but those pins and such um, are made from silver, I believe. 
I believe they're silver. Um, then you'll see um, this. Where is it? On the camera. This, this little blue capacitor, and it kind of looks like a balloon. So that is a t t is a type of tantalum capacitor. You want to get that. Tantalum is a metal that's more rare than gold. It's a rare, uh, palish colored metal. And I'm taking this for my element collection, but I know some people like to sell these online for people. So I'm just going to achieve my... There we go. Oops, dropped it between the motherboard and the plastic. So let me get that out, and I'll be right back. I, I got it. All right, now keep that safe, because tantalum's rare. Um, then every once in a while, around the board, let me find one on here. This one right there. Um, you'll see those yellow. Those are also tantalum capacitors, so get all those. Okay, so I got all those off, and now, um, I mean, there's barely any gold on here, so I wouldn't take any. It's not that much. Let me just get something off that I see. That is interesting to me. I didn't take it off of the one I did the other night. Okay, now that's just aluminum. Um... And you can try and get those other silicone chips. I just can't get them. Um, now what you want to do is you'll see next to this big aluminum box. Here, let me try and get the lighting. You'll see those two little uh, pieces of magnetic material. Um, get those off. Let me get those right now. Get that one off. Try not to break them. I'm sorry, deer live around here, so it's just like, what was that? I got one off. Now I've got. Jeez, it's not as hard last night. There we go. So they should look like that. And then, now, um, we're basically finished. I mean, there's not really anything else on here. I mean, aluminum and some small gold and some silver uh, pins, obviously, as you can, as I told you, you can't get them off. I don't know why. Um, so now, we're going to take these things, and try not to crush them with your pliers, because there's something really cool in here. You'll see what it is once we get the stuff out. So, try to get them out without destroying them. They should look like little rods. Okay, so I got my two rods out. Um, these are made actually of the same thing that those two small rods are made out of. And I'll just use those as an example because I don't want to break these. Um, get my magnet. These, obviously, these stick to the magnet. And as you can see, they can produce magnets themselves. As long as they're magnetized. And the only three materials that do that are obviously, we scientists know, the three ferromagnetic materials are iron, nickel, and cobalt. And these are not iron because of how easy they are to be broken. Um, these are not nickel because they're the wrong color. And that leaves us with cobalt. So you just got four things for your element collection if you have one. Um, you can, you got some cobalt, as you can see here, ferromagnetic, um, you got four tantalum capacitors, one large one and three small ones, 
as you can see, there's the large one. And there's what a small one looks like. You got a silicon chip. And you got some copper. So, that's pretty cool. And if you don't already have aluminum, you can easily just, let me see, this. Smash that. And peel it off and get um some aluminum and let me try you can furthermore peel that off and get some aluminum or you can just simply pick up an aluminum can and call it good all you need is a little vial for tantalum I wrote T A on the top and tantalum and um I already did this experiment, so I have some more tantalum capacitors. That's good. Um, then I already have a file for some uh, cobalt, and as you can see, I have those rods. I accidentally broke one, and you can see crystal structures inside. If you want to break one, open just for that. Let me try and get some room in here. And then. You can put that in a file that says cobalt. So now you got some pure, nice, spec nice pure specimens of cobalt. Bye. Please rate, comment, and sorry, it's a long video.